Hey, thanks for stopping by today. Wanted to do a uh, little video on the controller on the Thunderbolt. Um, there's a lot of features I really like, and so I thought I'd go over some of them. Most of them are gonna be in the manual section, but before we get to that, let's just take a quick review of what this controller on the uh, Thunderbolt looks like. So in your home, first of all, this is all touchscreen, and then you have manual button operations down here. And the mixture of both is really nice. It makes it nice and fast to uh, navigate around. So if if we go to the if we go to the file menu, um, it'll list all your files. Remember, this has got a much larger capacity for files than the Nova series machines, and so you can store a lot more files. Um, if you need to select a file, all you've got to do is hold your finger on it, and that file will come up. It'll give you the settings. Um, how long, if you've run it before, how long it took. Um, and this is your progress window. So it gives you everything that you need to know there. Um, you've got your menu over here. You've got your diagnostic. So you can see that I've got the lid open on the, uh, on the laser. This is your back button. Um, you've got your internal, external devices, alignment, U-disc. Uh, Multi-origins, I haven't messed with that yet, but I'm going to. Um, and some of the other things that typically you're not going to get into. Um, it also has an option here where you can adjust your lighting within the cabinet, which is great when you're using light colored acrylics. I really enjoy that. And then, of course, the autofocus. We're not going to go into autofocus origin, that kind of stuff. What I want to do is spend the majority of the time today in the manual section. And I will tell you, there's a lot of really nice features in this manual section. So let's just take a little bit of the time. The way I look at this controller as a whole is when you go into the manual section, this is going to be your nudge operations for your Z and for your uh, moving around your laser bed. And then this is going to be your continuous uh, buttons down here. So if I press, if, if, once I enable this, if I push these buttons up here, it's going to move either the Z or the X or the Y by this uh, measurement. And you can select that. And what I really like about it, and I'll show you here in a minute, is when I'm doing tumblers, I can set this at one millimeter and then uh, do my autofocus. And if I want to defocus that lens, I can just push this down once or twice. And now I'm two millimeters defocused. Very handy. One of the other things that I will tell you is... Um, for all these buttons to be active, you've got to unlock it, and then they all turn blue, and now uh, you're able to go ahead and, and uh, use these. And um, we'll get back to this little feature right here, but one of the things that I think is a great feature is the, the rabbit and the snail feature. So these are user uh, set. So you can go ahead and set up what your high speed and what your low speed is going to be. And then what will happen is um, when I want it to go slow, I put it into rabbit mode. And then at this point, I can go ahead and it's going to only go 10 millimeters per second at that point. And if I change it back to 100, now it's much faster. So I don't have to actually change or dial in the settings. All I've got to do is flip this little switch right here. And these, again, are user set. So you can determine on what you want to do. Now, back to what I use this for. Let's say that I have a uh, uh, branded tumbler like I've got in the rotary right now, and I need to align it over the uh, brand. What I do is I drive... Uh, I drive the laser over to where the uh, middle of that brand is, and I get these coordinates up here. And I take and I input those coordinates right here. And that way, every time I change out a cup, when it's done, all I've got to do is, here, we'll just move it away. All I've got to do is touch this X, and it'll take it to there. I load my tumbler in, make sure my... Uh, uh, brand is centered and this is not your origin this is just another location that you can use however you want so remember this is not your origin it can be if you want it but when you got branded tumblers this is a great use for doing that 
And so um, you just drive to where the middle of that brand is going to be and away you go. So uh, great bunch of features uh, just on this manual screen. So just keep in mind that the you, first of all, you've always got to have this unlocked to use it. And so this is um, uh, steps. In other words, this is nudges by this amount. And this is constant um, based on what you have selected here. So if it's rabbit, it goes fast. If it's snail, it goes slow. And uh, just using this manual panel is really nice. Um, and like I said, use these little features like this where if you needed it, to uh, make sure that your branded cup is, you just touch that. It goes right to the middle of the logo. You can make sure it's centered and uh, on you go. So anyway, just a quick uh, bunch of information on the controller. Uh, this is a great feature in the Bolt. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, information today. If you give me a like, I'd sure appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Till next time, thanks and have a great day.